Hey guys, welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today we'll be looking at the all new Paris Rone that is currently funding right now on Indiegogo. So if you guys wanted your very own, be sure to check out the link down below in the description. Now this here is a 4K Ultra HD short projector that can shoot up to 80 to 150 inches at just about five inches from the wall. That is mind blowing. Now it also features two 25 watt Dolby speakers to give you a nice immersive sound system. Now it also has 2000 ANSI lumens for a nice brightness as well as a 25,000 hours lamp life so you can go ahead and use this for a long period of time. Now it features smart capability so you can go ahead and connect to it via wirelessly from your phone as well as a variety of different inputs so you can go ahead and use it for your own personal need. Now together we'll be unboxing it as well as trying it out and seeing exactly what it's all about so if you guys want to check them out check out the link down below in the description and without further ado Let's go ahead and get started. So this here is our packaging, this here is our box. Now this is a prototype, so it's not the final product. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. All right. All right, so check it out guys. So this here is our short throw projector. Overall, it looks pretty good. Uh, definitely has a nice elegance feel to it. Uh, you do have this almost essentially like a speaker kind of material here on the front, which actually houses our two speakers. Uh, again, two 25 watt uh, Adobe speakers. So definitely nice immersive experience. Then you do have your short throw projector right here. Now it does have a sensor or smart sensor. So if it detects anybody in front of it, it will automatically stop it as it can actually uh, do damage to your eyes. So that's actually a great safety mechanism. And I would highly recommend that, especially when it comes to short throw projectors. And then as you kind of look at it in a little bit more in detail on the back, Side here you have a variety of different inputs so we have a USB 2 and then USB 1 here on the side uh, you have two HDMI ports you have an audio out if in case you want to hook up an external speaker you have an AV in and of course you have a LAN uh, then you do have your adjustment tools or on the sides here it's essentially two dials so you have one on this side and then one on this side uh, and together we'll be seeing exactly how that plays out now, it uh, should be quite exciting to see, so let's go ahead and set this thing up next and try it out. All right, so we're all set and ready to go. So we have our projector lined up with our projector screen. Let's go ahead and turn this thing on. So this here is a rising projector screen. Pretty cool idea to have, especially with a projector like this. Now, most projectors require you to be further out, but this one here being just about 5.8 inches away from the screen, it actually works out quite well. All right, so now that our screen's up here, we can go ahead and turn on our Paris Rone by simply hitting the power button here on our remote or physically on there. You hear a little humming sound as it begins to warm up. Let's check it out. And this here is gonna be our main hub. Now, the nice thing about this is it actually kind of has everything listed out for you. So you have your HDMI 1, your HDMI 2, your AV, your USB, and then a variety of different settings. So as we kind of work our way through this thing, I just want to kind of jump into settings. Now, uh, the way settings works is you can go ahead and adjust the contrast. Uh, you can adjust the light setting in terms of source. So you can have this in a specific area in terms of brightness goes. Uh, you have your keystone correction, so you can essentially align it based on your correct projection screen. Uh, you have your electronic focus, and then you have your projection mode. Now, the projection mode depends on where you're currently mounting your laser projector. So you have a variety of different positions from hoisting it above, uh, having it from behind, and uh, based on your own current preference, it's up to you. You also have your audio mode, so you can adjust the audio and you can even use a built-in speaker or you can go ahead and use the output speaker. So if you're using a surround sound system, up to you. Uh, and you can adjust the video sync too. Now you have your network, so it's Wi-Fi, and then you have your Bluetooth connectivity, so you can connect to it via Bluetooth to use this as a portable speaker or essentially a standalone speaker. And then you have your personalization, so you can do screen saver uh, and then just general as well. Now, as you kind of move about here, you do have your applications. So local applications are installed applications that are built into the program. So you can technically download them. That is where you go to the application market. So this here will allow you to download a variety of different things from Disney Plus to HBO, etc. 
here we are. So we have our different categories. So you have Netflix, YouTube, Prime Video, etc. And then you also have different kind of apps, including uh, video, news, sports, games, stuff like that. So very a variation of different things, which is really nice. Uh, so to give you an example here, I went ahead and downloaded YouTube. So this here is one of our installed apps. I can click on YouTube here and uh, this will go ahead and boot it up. And you see these videos here, nice crisp quality. I actually like it a lot. Uh, if I go ahead and search something like conflicts, uh, I can show you some of my videos here. So let's just go ahead and click on our trailer and we can watch that. Hey guys, welcome to conflicts. A channel that focuses now, Right now, it's at 24 volume, but I can go ahead and blast this thing up. Things such as robotic kits, RC cars, drones, and a variety of different tech or future tech you've probably never seen before, such as Kickstarter campaigns as well. So surprisingly, it is actually quite loud, and the quality of it is very, very crisp. Uh, I like the audio sound too, just because it has almost like a surround sound speaker to it, as if it's an actual speaker bar. And you can see the quality of it. It's really sharp for a projection uh, and it almost looks like an actual LCD screen that's on the wall. And I'll go and click back. But yes, kind of gives you an idea what that's about. I do love the latency on this thing. This thing is absolutely spot on. So kind of gives you a concept on how that functions. Now, if I go back into home here, uh, I do have multi-screen. Now, multi-screen is quite interesting, mainly because of the fact that what that does is it allows you to go and connect to it uh, and essentially project your phone onto the screen. So whatever you see on your phone here will actually project on the screen over there. So this here is great for presentations or a variety of different ways to showcase what's on your phone. All right, so that is that in a nutshell. Now you do have your different USBs, your HDMIs, uh, and to kind of give you a quick demo on how this kind of plays out, we're gonna go ahead and use our PS5 and see how the playback value is using a game console. All right, so this here is our main hub. And let's just go ahead and try out like Final Vendetta and see how this plays out. All right, so kind of gives you an idea what that is. So the quality is actually pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and try out Gran Turismo 7 and see how this plays. Well, the quality is actually pretty crisp, especially when it comes to video games. You can see the, how definitive it is. It literally looks like we're looking at a high def screen and being a, literally 100 inch, this thing is absolutely mind blowing. All right, and kind of gives you an idea about what that's about. So overall, actually works quite well with video games. And yeah, I have to say they did a great job with this. The quality of it is very nice. Now the nice thing about this is the safety feature behind it. So for instance, I'm kind of doing this, but the moment I kind of come in front of the laser, it's automatically gonna throw this up here saying enter eye production mode. So it'll help protect your eyes in case if you step in front of the laser. Now, if I go back into our home function here, uh, that is that in a nutshell in terms of what it can do. Now you have your USB and your HDMI 1 as well as your AV mode and overall a really easy to use projector. Now I really like it a lot and I think the setup of it was quite simple and easy. And with that said, if you guys had any questions, comment down below. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye bye.